Okay, last section here I have is exposure controls, and uh, this is the thing, if I've learned nothing else as an industrial hygienist over the years, and I'm, I'm the first to say I'm not a ventilation engineer, I don't pretend to be one, I tend to look at it as a more, how does the thing actually work out on the floor? That's, that's not the world that I live in, because my data tells me whether it's working or not, but observations tell me a whole lot more. And I think that any control system that, that does not consider how the employee is interacting with that part and with that exposure is doomed to fail. And I, I have so, I'm not sure you can think of this, but I have so many examples of people where an engineer, uh, internal or external, came in and installed a ventilation system, never talked to the welder about how they do their job, and so they get this arm that can't be moved into the position that that welder needs to do his or her job. And that's just, that's just wrong. You need to work with people and find out and, and observe. It, it, it's just nothing more than, than watching how people do their jobs so you get a sense of where does this control need to be placed so that it takes crap out of the breathing zone. And that's what it's, again, that's what it's all about, removing the fumes from the breathing zone of the employee.